Yeah, as we know, classic starts tomorrow. You know, preparations are going very well. Um, only thing we really have to do now is to finish putting the tarps on top of the public stands. All the private viewing spots are complete. Um, grass is getting cut right now, and things are on to go. We're ready to go for tomorrow. Yes, we have uh, ten food stalls, uh, three snowball, uh, snowball stalls. Um, we have everything from fish to. Uh, Hamburgers, hot dogs, we have the traditional shark, cash, um, pies, we also have uh, barbecue grilling sticks, you know, so our main ones like Sid Seafood, Malcolm Rayner, Seaside Grill is a new one that's going to be here today, and St. David, Jama David Seafood, Jamaican Grill, Sensational Delights, um, Glory Temple, um, Salinas, Snowy's, and, and the like. We have a lot of, enough for everyone to have. Yes. Well, when you when they come in, uh, we have plenty, um, public, public, a lot of public seating. We have a uh, two stands in the western end, uh, one large one on the northern end, and then we have two on the eastern end. So there's plenty of public seating. Once you come through the gate, it's on a first come, first serve basis. Gates open at 6.30 a.m., so get here early, find your seat, sit down, relax, find where you're gonna eat, and organize yourself for the day. Our bar service will be open from uh, 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. on the first day, and then from 8 a.m. on the second day, obviously until closing, depending on what time the game, game finishes with a St. George's victory, it might be open all night. You know, but inside the club we have, we also have uh, toilet facilities inside the club as well as externally. So there's plenty of facilities for everyone. Also, the St. John's Ambulance will be here in the event of an emergency, which we hope they're not. Or we're asking that people drink plenty of fluids, plenty of water, because it's going to be two very hot days, and we're looking forward to some good stuff.